Here we have a 2002 BMW 330D in silver. If we just start with the offside front tyre. As you can see, it's a nice amount of tread. I'd say about 5mm of tread. And looking at the alloy itself, can't really see any signs of any curbing at all. It's a bit wet, so I do apologise. But overall, the wheel is in really nice condition. Looking down the offside of the car, now it is hard to see because of all the uh, ice and water on the car, but I couldn't see any signs of any dents at all in the car. Paint it looks really nice. Apparently, it's a, a rear dink on the rear passenger door, but because it's wet, I can't seem to find it. But I have reason to believe that it's quite small, so that's no real problem. There is a rust patch there, as you can see, just on the uh, offside rear arc. As you can see there, it's going to be hard to see, but looking at the offside rear tyre, there's about 4mm of tread on there, so that's no problem. And then looking at the alloy again, Real nice condition, a few minor curbs here and there, and I mean minor, they are very light as you can see, overall condition though, really nice. Moving around to the rear of the car, again no real complaints, I couldn't see any signs of any dents or any cosmetic damage to the rear of the car, it's all in good order. Looking at the near side rear tyre now and again same as the uh, offside rear tyre it's about 4mm of tread and again looking at the alloy there's a minor scratch other than that really nice condition again been well looked after a little bit of Lacquer's come off there, but other than that, real nice condition again. Looking down the near side of the car, it's hard to see, but I couldn't see any signs of any dents or dings at all. No real complaints on the near side of the car. And again, looking at the front side, near side, sorry, front tyre, again, 5mm of tread. So all four tyres would be fine. And then looking at the alloy, you've got, yeah, this is a bit of a kerb here. I think it's not just frozen ice. And a little bit of lax come off there. But again, no major damage at all to the alloy. Looking at the front of the vehicle, got a few minor scratches. As you can see, are very light, just on the front of the paintwork there. No real sign of any stone chips either. Just one or two here and there. Other than that, the front's looking really well. This scratch down here. Yeah, you got a little scuff there. And a few stone chips on the front there. Other than that, we're in this condition. Looking in the car itself, looks just as good as it does on the outside. Seats are like a silver grey leather, full leather. They have slightly worn a little bit, you've got a bit of a colour fade, but that's expected to be the age of the vehicle. Other than that, it's really nice condition inside. Let's hop in and let me just show you the mileage. There we go, 56,029 miles. Now look at the controls here, you've got the heating works, radio works, car is automatic transmission as you can see. Everything functions as it should. 
car's had two previous owners, as you can see. And it does come with the MOT certificate, October the 17th, 2013, so plenty left on that. And the car has also had full franchise service history, with a few of them being done with us. See the first one at 12,000 there, 24,000 there, 30,000, 34,000, 39, 43, 47, 51. So as you can see it's been serviced exactly where needed. And then the last one there at 55,000. So it's serviced just under, or just over, sorry, a thousand miles ago. So it's really well. And then looking at the rear of the car, as you can see, <coughs> looks like no one's even sat in the back to be honest. Really good condition. Even the carpets are clean. There you go, that is the BMW 330D, an overall really nice car.